сегодняшнем видео today we are going to show you that there is always voltage between rails между рельсами there is really always voltage between rails вот мы подсоединяем тестер so here we are connecting our multimeter to the rails и что мы видим and it shows us an average from 2.5 to 3 volts но напряжение не but it's unstable so now we will show you why it's unstable as it turned out, it's not just alternating current, but it's like a Morse code. So, to demonstrate you how it works, we need to connect a speaker with a light bulb. Do you see it? Look at the bulb. Do you hear the speaker produce sounds? Let me show you. Do you see it's vibrating? It makes the stone jump up and down. It's quite interesting and strange. In our next videos we will show you how you can put it into practice in behalf of yourself and in behalf of tourists. As we've mentioned earlier, there is always voltage between rails. So we will try to rectify it. We will apply wires voltage to the capacitor through the diode, our bulb is glowing, so certainly some voltage is being produced. Further, it's applied to the mobile's connector. So here is our cell phone, so show them what will happen. Don't worry, it's just going to explode. It's charging. The light bulb is glowing, as you can see. In other words, we are charging it with the rail's electricity. Someone is even calling us. Our contact elements are connected quite simply. We put stones to press them. So, there is nothing difficult. Let's measure voltage. So, let us see how much is applied to it. 5.1 volts. In order to prevent voltage stepping, you can use another capacitor. Instead of 25 volts, you can use a higher voltage capacitor. Maybe some of YouTube viewers can point to the reason why such strange impulses are passed along rails. I guess it's for traffic lights. 